Welcome back and thank you for staying with KTN Prime. The Senate Energy Committee has asked the Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome, to arrest Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja and present him before the committee on 25th April. This is after the Nairobi County boss for the second time in a row failed to appear before the committee to answer questions regarding the deadly Mbakasi gas explosion. As KTN's David Mudoka reports, Governor Sakaja is increasingly finding himself under fire from all sides, with the Senate decision against him coming days after a report by Auditor General Nancy Gadungu revealed how billions of taxpayers' money were lost during Sakaja's first year in office. Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja is a man under siege. The Nairobi County boss was expected to appear before the Senate Energy Committee on Thursday morning to respond to questions regarding the Mbakasi gas tragedy that left at least seven people dead, hundreds injured and hundreds more displaced, but was a no-show. Senators sitting in the committee resolved to not only slap Governor Sakaja with a second fine of half a million shillings, but also requested the Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome, to put him in handcuffs and behind bars before presenting him to the committee on 25th of this month. In his defense fronted on social media, Governor Sakaja on Thursday midday revealed that he was out of the country and that the senators knew about it. Sakaja added that he appeared several times before and will continue to do so as he had no reasons not to respond to any questions raised on the Mradi gas explosion or audit reports of the financial years 2020 to 2022. The decision by the senators to act on Governor Sakaja comes days after Auditor General Nancy Gadungu released a damning report on Sakaja's alleged mismanagement of the public's hard-earned money during his first year in office. In the report, Gadungu reveals how billions of taxpayers' money were lost and are even said to be lost as a result of mismanagement of public funds by the Sakaja administration. In one instance, Gadungu found that the Sakaja administration has a combined debt of 20.9 billion shillings owed to 132 lawyers in the form of legal fees. That debt alone is more than the money which the county received in the current financial year from the national government, which is 20 billion shillings. 11 advocates out of a legal list are owed 10.7 billion shillings, which is even more than the money that the county collects each year as revenue, which is 10.5 billion shillings. According to the Auditor General, for the Sakaja administration to pay the 132 barristers, the county will have to collect money for two straight years and only spend it on the lawyers without providing any services, including water garbage, security, or even lighting to the public. In another case, the Auditor General found that the county had paid a supplier 7.5 million shillings to supply and deliver firefighting vehicle tires during Sakaja's first year in power. In her report, Kadungu states that the value for funds used on the tires could not be confirmed. After a quick month, for the county to have spent 7.5 million shillings on tires, it needed to have purchased at least 400 of those high-quality tires that go for 19,000 shillings each for its 16 operational fire engines that probably required 96 tires during that financial year. Further, the Auditor General found that the Sakaja administration spent 2.5 million shillings worth of scholarship on 47 beneficiaries from other counties apart from Nairobi and another 1.1 million shillings on 25 beneficiaries at private primary schools. David Muthoka, KTN News, Nairobi. From Nairobi.